A proposal for a medically supervised injecting room in one of Melbourne's inner city suburbs has been dismissed by the Victorian government. In a bid to control heroin use in the Richmond area, the Yarra Council voted in favour of an injecting room. Supporters say the injecting room in Sydney's King's Cross successfully manages drug use, but opponents say law enforcement and education are better options. Hamish Fitzsimmons reports from Melbourne. Drugs are ruining the streets of Richmond, according to many in the area. Yeah, it's a problem. Really a problem because, you know, the people are scared, they don't come. Victoria Street, which runs through Richmond and Abbotsford, is a popular dining strip. Unfortunately, it's also popular with drug dealers and their clients. To try and curb the problem, the Yarra Council has voted in favour of a trial of a medically supervised injecting facility. The one in Sydney has been very successful at getting syringes and public injecting and overdoses out of the public area where residents have to deal with them um, and into a kind of more controlled health-related environment. Many traders and residents agree something has to be done. Because I live here 47 years, numbers for it. Now I started with the birth. The council's proposal needs the support of the state government and it quickly vetoed the idea. Well, we won't be supporting uh, safe injecting rooms. We haven't and we won't and it won't proceed. The Victorian Premier says he wants to stick with law enforcement and education rather than go down the path of an injecting room. We've got to get the message through to young people that dabbling in drugs is dangerous and can and does ruin lives and we're not going to give up. David, a former addict, believes an injecting room will take used needles off the streets but won't dent the trade, though he's hopeful it will mean those who need help will get it. I think slowly but surely society's starting to realise that, you know, these so-called junkies or whatever are people. They're sons and daughters and brothers and sisters and they need help. The supervised injecting centre in Sydney's King's Cross started as a trial in 2001. The centre, in an area long associated with drug use and dealing, was made permanent last year. Its operators, the Uniting Church, say initial concerns about the centre quickly faded. Once we'd been operating and we showed that all the possible bad things that might happen didn't happen, then I think the uh, concerns very much dissipated. The centre's operators say it's reduced deaths, syringe litter and improved access to treatment and counselling. So the Victorian state government shouldn't dismiss it outright. I think they ought to at least have a look at what we've done and see what the impact has been, read the evaluation reports and take them into account before they make a decision. And there are final words of warning from one who knows the pain of addiction. I spent a, quite a lot of years addicted to heroin, yeah. I'm clean now, but I spent... 12, 13 years and uh, it ruined my life and my life still hasn't recovered. I mean, my financial situation, my social standing, there's a lot of issues that are, have been affected by it that I'm unable to repair. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Late Line.